Good morning. Welcome to episode 63 of The Corner of Knit and Tea. I'm Laura, also known as Fluffy K on Ravelry, Fluffy Kira on Instagram and Twitter. I blog over at The Corner of Knit and Tea, and that's where this episode and every episode's show notes will be. I have a shop on Etsy called The Stash Buckler, Adventures in Yarn, where I sell my hand spun yarn. And we have a Ravelry group called The Corner of Knit and Tea. If you haven't come over to join us, please do. So hi, how are you? I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I am so happy to be back um, talking to you again. My week has been crazy. Um, work was kind of all over the place. We have some really big things going on right now. Um, and my boss is not pleased that I am taking all of next week off for the holiday. So there was lots to get done this week that kept me very busy. Um, and then I had the craft show, which was great. Um, I am a part of the Kansas City Fiber Guild and we put on a craft show every year the weekend before Thanksgiving and it is a place where we can sell our wares um, and it is um, amazing and it's I really love being a part of it and it is a lot of work. <laughs> you get a committee assignment to do things beforehand but then um, Friday morning everything you get everything to the site and there are some wonderful people who do set up and then we are open at 4 to 9 Friday evening and 10 to 5 on Saturday and then we strike and everything comes down and everybody goes home and I was so tired last night I got home and I started dozing on the couch around 8 45 and got up about 10 15 and went to bed and slept till 9 this morning so I was just exhausted and not feeling great and ready to go to bed um, but I feel much better this morning which is great because today is packing and laundry and getting everything ready for our trip um, and I did well at the craft show yesterday you will notice that when I reopen the shop in a week when I get home um, there is not very much left which is a little sad and um, very happy for me <laughs> so that has been what's going on here we are getting ready to go to California for the Thanksgiving holiday that's where my family is so we will be there um, we are taking the train this year which is new for us we got a sleeper car and we're gonna get on the train late tonight and we get to Los Angeles on Tuesday morning and then we'll do the opposite next weekend and be back so next weekend when I tape it will be a little bit late my guess is the episode won't drop until Monday November 30th just so you know um, however just as part of a little announcement and some fun I joined Periscope this week and I joined as Fluffy Kira same as everywhere else and uh, while I am gone I think I'm gonna try and do a couple episodes maybe one on the or a couple little videos maybe one on the train and maybe one in California so um, you might like to follow me there and see what I am up to if you're interested so again that's Fluffy Kira on Periscope so and um, please leave me some comments um, so that I know who's watching and um, I will follow you back because I'm looking to see who else is doing videos on Periscope so that was kind of a bit of an introduction to the week I hope you have had a wonderful week um, and let's get into the show. I think it's going to be a little bit of a short one this week. Um, I've been so busy that I didn't get a lot of knit time and I have only really been working on one project. So the first thing let's do is tea. I ordered um, the holiday collection, um, which was a selection of three teas, and then I ordered a couple other things from Stash recently. And this morning I am doing the White Christmas White Tea, and it is white tea, peppermint, and ginger root. Um, I also tried the, um, it came in a sampler pack with uh, Christmas Eve, which was absolutely delicious. That is far and away my favorite. It is um, green tea, and then it has um, orange and uh, cinnamon and some spices, uh, like nutmeg and cardamom, and that was just amazing. It was so delicious. Um, and then the other one, which was Christmas morning, and that was just a plain black tea. It was good, but, but um, so far the, the big winner has been Christmas Eve, but we will try white Christmas today. And I am drinking in my skills mug, Batman Knitting, um, and I got that on Society6, and again, it is called Skills. So that is what we're drinking today. 
ooh, that's pretty good. It's just a standard peppermint tea. So um, I don't really get a lot of the ginger root in here, um, but it's a good peppermint tea for the holidays. So there you have it. So, like I said, there's not a lot of intrigue um, on what I have been knitting. I have been working on my Moxie Pullover by Amy Christoffers, and that is living in one of my Ravelry bags. Um, and I have made a lot of progress on this. Now, if you remember, I originally started at Nanny Swaymo um, National Sweater, uh, National Knitter Sweater Month with a completely different sweater. And I recast on last weekend. Um, and I am super, super close to finishing the body. I will probably finish that today. Um, it is a top down raglan pullover. I won't give away too much um, because it is a paid for pattern. I believe it was $7. Um, and I have made wonderful progress. I am probably about an inch away from starting the ribbing on the body, um, and then the body will be done, and I have tried this one on, and it fits, um, and I'm super, super pleased with it. So all that's left is the sleeves, and I am hoping um, between the train ride and my time in Los Angeles, I will be able to finish it by the November deadline, and uh, the November 30th deadline. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. So I hope I will be able to finish it by the November 30th deadline. And actually, I'm sort of hoping that maybe I'll even be able to finish it by Thanksgiving. Um, because depending on what the weather is like, I haven't checked the forecast yet, but I think it's actually still pretty warm in California. Um, but depending what the weather is like, I could wear it on Thanksgiving. Um, and I do hope to get some finished object photos in my parents' garden, which will be all beautiful and green at this time of year while my yard is not. So again, that is the Moxie Pullover by Amy Christoffers. This is my own hand spun. It was a um, merino and black silk from Hello Yarn. And um, it was in the colorway Waterweed and had blues and greens and just a little bit of kind of yellowy brown. So I am super pleased with my progress on that. I've been knitting on that non-stop and hope to knit um, more today and then tomorrow. Um, and I just need to wind up the third skein. I think I'm gonna have to break into it. I had a bunch of double skeins. Um, and one of the double skeins has pretty much um, knit the body. I just have a tiny bit left and that actually might be just enough to finish the inch and the ribbing, I hope, because I would hate to have to join in right at the bottom. Um, and then I have the old version of the sweater to knit off of to start the sleeves. And I think I'll probably have to break into um, the third skein just for a little bit. So that is my Nanny Swaymo project. Sadly, that is all I worked on this week. Um, I didn't get to my spinning wheel. I um, pretty much just worked on that. So I do have a few things to show you. These are needle adjacent projects that I am going to um, take with me. So I decided that I wanted a pair of Christmas socks and I decided the perfect time to cast them on would be Thanksgiving morning. So I went ahead and wound up some yarn and am getting ready to go. I have um, a skein that I bought. I lusted after this for a while. Um, it is Desert Vista Dye Works, uh, who does great striping colorways. And it is her Viso base, which is superwash merino wool, um, which is 75% uh, superwash merino wool, 25% nylon fingering weight. And the colorway is, you're a mean one. And I uh, saw Sam's socks on Come Knit With Us and loved this colorway. And um, when she put it up, maybe six months ago, I went ahead and, oh no, I ordered it at her, um, I ordered it at her annual sale, which was this fall, um, when she made all of her colorways available for pre-order. So I ordered it because I knew what I wanted and this is it. It is your mean one. And it is that bright limey green and red and white and black and it is gonna make some amazing stripy socks and I am so excited about it. I chose a pattern on Knitty called Geek Socks by Wei Long. Um, and it just kind of, um, it makes kind of a ripply pattern. Um, and it's good for, stri it, she designed it specifically for striping yarn. So I'm excited about that. And I decided that I needed a new Christmas bag. So I went ahead and purchased one. And it is called Stashing Through the Snow, which made me laugh. 
and you know how I love mustaches. And this bag was from the One Sock Wonder Bags shop on Etsy. So, and it was very reasonable. It seems well made. Um, it is not super stiff, so it will be great in my luggage because I can easily fold it over. Um, but it is a perfect size for some socks. So that is one of the projects that I'm taking with me. I am obviously taking my Moxie pullover. I am also taking the one that I showed you the last week for Fiddlehead Mittens. And then I decided that, you know, one can't have too many projects because one might run out of yarn. And that would be horrific, wouldn't it? So I pulled together one more set of yarns. I have a friend who is having twins in December and I wanted to make her a little something. And I decided to open the bunny factory again. Um, and I am referring to, uh, the pattern is Mario by Mario the Artistic Rabbit by Jenna Krupar. It is a cute little stuffy um, where you knit all the parts and uh, stuff them together, uh, sew them together and um, put on some eyes and a nose. And he is just adorable. And um, originally I give credit um, to Amanda who is so nitpicky and who um, has the, uh, not another podcast, sorry. Um, and uh, she made a couple and I was like, oh, I really need to do that. And so what I do is I usually go back to my hand spun um, particularly some of the earlier squishier stuff that may not be perfect looking, um, but makes wonderful, wonderful toys. So I went back and I was looking for two skeins of yarn um, that complemented each other, but weren't exactly the same um, because it is for twins and I wanted them to kind of go together, but I didn't want them to be exactly the same. So I found these two skeins of yarn that I had spun. And this one actually is six ounces. It's not your eyes deceiving you. It is a little bit bigger. This one is um, mostly uh, aquas and then it's got a little bit of yellow so that makes for some yellow and green and this was from Art Club which is um, Nicole Lore out in Harveyville, um, the Harveyville project and she has an Etsy store called the Art Club um, and it was just some of her roving. And then this one was Fat Cat Knits and it was in the Dragonfly colorway and I don't remember, I don't remember on either of these. I'm pretty sure this one was Falkland. I don't remember. This one might have been Polworth, but I don't really remember because um, I don't worry so much when I'm knitting stuffed animals because they will generally be spot cleaned rather than run through the washing machine. So I don't worry too much. Anyway, this is the Dragonfly colorway and I love the pops of aqua and purple in there. Um, and I've even actually entertained the idea of mixing these up um, like doing one body in this one and one body in this one and then reversing for the um, like ears and limbs so that they would both look um, like mirror opposites so um, or not mirror opposites but they both look kind of the same but kind of different so I'm thinking about that and that might be fun so I have that um, ready to go um, and I just need to grab some needles and I printed off all my patterns so I can fold them up and put them in here and um, that is the knitting that is going to keep me occupied for the next week or so. Finally, I wanted to talk a little bit about the knit along going on over in the group. Just give you a quick reminder. We are doing the gift along. We started November 1st and conclude December 31st. This is a knit along where you can submit or um, I call it a knit along, but it is all crafts, crochet, weaving, sewing, whatever you're doing. Um, this is a place for you to post pictures of all those gifts that you're making. They can be holiday gifts or they can just be gifts. Um, the only rule is that they cannot be for yourself. They have to be for someone else. And you can post them uh, over here in the uh, over in the thread in the group and there will be some prizes at the end. Last week I showed you a beautiful shawl pin and set of stitch markers from Mission Knit Possible, which is Drew and I believe his shop is Knit Possible Creations on Etsy. Um, and he uh, was wonderful and donated that prize, um, which those will be drawn in January by Random Number Generator. I also wanted to show one of the things that I will be offering as a prize. I had originally said that I was going to do hand spun yarn, but actually most of my hand spun yarns hold at the sale. So I have decided to pull something different from my stash. And this is a ball of self-striping sock yarn. This is um, from Nomadic Yarns on Etsy. 
and it is the Game of Thrones colorway. So she has put colorways um, that uh, represent all the colorways on Game of Thrones, and it is on the Brit Sock, well, okay, here, let's start this. Nomadic Yarns on Etsy. And the um, colorway is when you play the Game of Thrones and it is on Brit Sock, which is 400 yards. It's an 80-20 Superwash BFL nylon. So that is one of the prizes that you can win. Um, and it's really cool. It's got all these different striping colors and I love the way she winds them up in the skein. Um, and it is the colors for all the houses on Game of Thrones if you have read the books or watched the TV series. So that is it for today. I know it's a short podcast, especially compared with the last couple weeks. I hope that when I come home, I will have lots and lots to show you and talk about. Um, and I, like I said, I hope to do a couple periscopes while I'm away if you want to find me on there. Um, if you are in the U.S. and you observe the Thanksgiving holiday, I hope that you have a wonderful, happy, and healthy holiday with your family and friends. Um, for those of you outside the States, if you don't celebrate, I hope you have a wonderful week, and um, I will see you next time. Until I see you, then, um, I will say as I always do, happy knitting, happy spinning, happy sipping, and I will see you next time. Bye!